Welcome everyone, this is Victor Campos, and in this video we're going to be looking at Twitter for your business. And we're going to look at uh, tweeting some pictures and video. So far what I've been tweeting uh, in public have been um, text tweets. And those that I've been tweeting also to people to build interaction have been text tweets, and that's fine. But uh, to jazz things up, I'm going to add some uh, some pictures. Pretty easy to do. So again, if I select on the top right to uh, compose a new tweet. Remember, you've always got a um, new tweet button up there. I'm going to compose a new tweet, and I'm going to select down here to add a photo. And this time I do have a picture on the desktop. Here we go. Oh, let me preview that for you. This is the picture. Any picture will do. So I'm going to tweet that picture and also tap into a hashtag. So we're going to say, is it Star Wars Saturdays? Saturday yet? So anyone that searches that hashtag could run into my photo and I can get interaction. Replies, retweets, favorites, follows. Is it Star Wars Saturday yet? We can't wait to celebrate with these yummy Ewok cookies. Tweet, and then what happens is your photo gets uploaded. Any of your followers would then see the picture. Anyone that visits your profile will see it. And then people that come and see it could um, then interact. So adding a, a picture, pretty easy. There's a button right there to add a photo. Now video is a little bit different. There is no button to add a, a, um, a video. But here's one way to do it. Oftentimes you'll be sharing a, a YouTube video. Everyone uses YouTube. If you don't, I recommend you create a YouTube account and add your videos there. That way you can easily share them the way I'm about to show you. So this needs a little bit of setup in that you need to find a video. I found a video that I made back in 2009 about baking cookies in the dashboard of my car. I bet I could do it again because it's been a lot harder, a lot hotter than I remember. So uh, anyway, there's a short video there. 15 seconds. I want to uh, share that video. So what you've got on every YouTube video is uh, a way to share near the description and such. If you select share, you have different ways to do this. Um, you have directly uh, a tweet button. So the trick is to find the video and it doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be Vimeo or um, Twitch or Justin TV or etc. And most likely somewhere there will be a tweet button. So if I click that tweet button, it pops up. It knows that I'm logged in on my account, and it's going to then tweet it for me. I can edit this, of course, and say something like, uh, have uh, you ever tried baking cookies in your car? It can be done. And then just edit my tweet however I want. I'm going to put this in quotes. That's the name of the video. And then it says via at YouTube. Well, I want to remove that. Everyone knows it comes from YouTube. If not, it doesn't really matter where it comes from. The point of that is that I'm removing um, that to give myself more space because I have 140 characters. The video is basically a link to the video. So that I want to use that extra space that I've got for a hashtag. Let's see what I've got for a cookie. Uh, cookie car. I'll just put cookies. Again, when people search for cookies, my tweet could come up. So I've tweeted it. You might get this pop-up of suggestions of who to follow. Just ignore that. And um, so if I go back to my Twitter, 
uh, I will see now that I've tweeted something with a video which came from another website. That's basically how that's done. You click the tweet button from the other website. Pretty much all websites have a tweet button now. It's all connected. And now I've um, shared a video. The other way to do it, if there is no tweet button, let's assume there's no tweet button for uh, for this video over here. How to make a simple solar cooker to understand the use of solar energy. Okay, let's say that is relevant. This video. Pretty interesting, actually. So let's say I wanted to share it. Uh, I'll click the share button again, but this time let's say there's no um, there's no link. Uh, there's no link to there's no way to share via Twitter. There could often be a link. You might find um, that the website gives you a link like this, so I can simply copy back on Twitter, make a new tweet, and paste. So my video will be shared that way, and then of course I could write some content there. If you don't see some sort of link to share, you can always usually copy the the, the address up on the address bar too. That's the link. I'm going to copy that. Paste. And that should give me the video as well. So sharing pictures and video is pretty straightforward. The, the allure of this is that uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. So if you're only doing um, if you're only doing text content, perhaps you don't get the interaction that you're looking for. Uh, so video content once in a while, text uh, photo content once in a while, and look at this more notifications. What do we have? Anastasia Washington favorited your tweet. That's what I tweeted to her. Nice about Darkwing Duck, and then she replies, "OMG, I want a Darkwing cake." So great, she's replying to me. Um, I'm going to choose to follow. And uh, maybe just keep the interaction going. And um, keep writing some stuff. Um, We're finding a lot of parents are now requesting cakes from the cartoons of their youth. This actually, I don't want just Anastasia to see it. I want my own followers to see it. So this is the trick about putting some sort of character before the beginning of the tweet. That way more people can see it. I'm going to put a dot there. Uh, we're finding a lot of parents are now requesting cakes from the cartoons of their youth. Um, it's super cute. Maybe add a hashtag, the 90s. So notice this shows up on the, on the main default screen tweets. Um, whereas stuff that I've replied to only the person will will see it under tweets and replies. So in this case, Rodales would be the only one to see it unless a person specifically changes the screen here. So there's more to learn about uh, Twitter. On our next video, uh, we will keep we will keep at it. So come back for that.